Oh, you're so pretty for a black girl. Oh, she has a Jew nose. Oh, your hair would look so good if it was straight. Do you speak um, good English? I think the person saying microaggression kind of doesn't really think about it. Microaggressions are deeply personal attacks, yet somehow universal. Racism, but easier to conceal. It's not as big as someone calling you the N-word, so you feel like you can't call it out. I am pretty for a black girl, which is not a compliment. That I act white, that I am articulate to be black. That my hair needs to be tamed. Asking if my hair is real and if they could touch it. Because I'm Asian, white, and Asian, and people say, like, Asians are so beautiful. And I used to be like, oh, they think I'm beautiful, that's so nice, but it's like, I'm beautiful because I'm mixed with white. Like, if I were full Asian, I wouldn't, they wouldn't be saying that to me. I've even been told by a history teacher that I would know more about slavery than them. Someone who was my friend said that they wouldn't come over to my house because they didn't want to get shot or mugged or robbed. I've even been followed around in stores by shopkeepers that thought I was stealing. I used to run cross country and the non-black kids used to make jokes when we would run past people's houses, basically saying that all the black kids were going to come back at nighttime and rob the houses in the nice neighborhoods. Um, and we were only in elementary school at that time. Microaggressions that I've experienced are often about emotions. So like, you're being crazy, you're being irrational, you're too much. I've told people that I'm bisexual or I've told people that I have a crush on a girl and they're like, oh no, it's, it's just a phase. You know, that's not real. It made me feel invalidated. It makes you feel awful. It makes you feel like you are dismissed. It makes you feel unheard. I've been made to feel crazy for calling out something that was racist. You can't be too loud, too aggressive, too emotional, too confident, or even be clear about your boundaries and needs without being deemed as difficult. But confronting people can be scary. One time I was at a place and my mom kind of stood up for us when someone did something racist to us. The woman who she stood up to, like, just gave us the dirtiest look. There have definitely been times when someone has said something racist or offensive to me and I've just awkwardly laughed. I find it now easiest to respond to microaggressions and racism by educating the person, telling them why what they did was wrong, especially if you are calm and you don't feed into the angry black woman stereotype. In no way do I think it's the responsibility of any person of color to be the ones to check and hold the other party accountable. I have definitely called people out on microaggressions, but that's not my life mission, nor is it my desire to be the poster child for call out culture. I get really worried about becoming the stereotype that they make fun of, like the irrational woman who nitpicks for sexism. Have I ever called someone out on a microaggression or spoken up about it? Uh, I, I don't think so. Maybe because it's hard to notice when it's not directed at you. I do wish I had responded differently to like everything. Oh no, I actually love black people. I love people of color. Like they try to just minimize the situation. Watching that video made me feel upset. It made me feel angry because microaggressions are still happening. I'm saying the exact same stuff as they were saying in 2015. Being a person of color is really frustrating. It is really, really easy to walk around all the time really angry, but who is that anger serving? I also looked at the comments of the video. So many of them are like, we're doomed. Next up, victimhood and how to make it your lifestyle. 
There's so many like, defensive, furious people in the comments. There has really been no progress made. I don't think people have been speaking up more, but I hope that changes. Anti-racist work looks like calling these situations out. How are you also educating yourself? What conversations are you having? What type of people are you surrounding yourself with that are knowledgeable about reality of like lives of people that don't look like them? We're now faced with this question of, are we going to continue to accept the racism that has plagued our culture for centuries? Or are we going to meet this moment with courage and do the hard work and challenge each other to do better?